guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is kind of exciting, I've been really excited to film this just because I love Apple products. So as you already know by the title, I'm going to be giving you my collection of Apple products. So let's get on into the video. The first product that I had when I was younger was an iPod fourth generation. Now I was very young so my parents did buy that for me, that was a, a birthday present and it was the silver version I think you could choose colors or the black version yeah it was black and white and on the front it was black so yeah it was a black version and it was the 8 gigabyte I don't have that anymore that was ages ago that is long long gone um, but yeah that's the only ever iPod I had and then I got an iPad so I got the iPad 2 and I think this was when I was in year five so this was a year later now the reason why I had an iPad from being quite young is because I like to do my work from it teachers like even from being year five my teachers would email us work like being that young it's so weird to think like from such a young age you're just constantly doing work and not really living your life it's really sad but yeah so I would have an iPad and that's where I do my work I would never I never had a laptop this i've still got it and it still works how crazy is that it still works so this is the ipad um it is a 32 gigabyte which i think the smallest capacity was the 16 gigabyte and this was a 32 so i got my use out of it and as you will see it still works which is great uh, my mom now uses this ipad so we've definitely got a lot of use out of it Look how oh, the tiny, tiny camera. So this is what I use for my schoolwork in year six. And then when I went up to secondary school, I got a new iPad. And that was purely because my mum also wanted an iPad and she wanted a bigger iPad to stream stuff on. But I was just using my iPad for work. So I got the iPad mini first generation, which my, my parents also bought because it, obviously it was school based. And there was no way of me being able to afford an iPad when I was in year seven. So when I was in year seven, I had this. Bear in mind, everyone had iPhones at that point and I never did just because I didn't need one, I didn't want one. And I would genuinely use my iPad to Snapchat people. So yeah, this is the iPad and I think it's a 16 gigabyte iPad. I can't imagine it being that much higher because I didn't really need it that much. I just needed it for my emails and streaming stuff. And plus because I did use it as um, a TV essentially in my room at night. And that was four years I had this iPad and I definitely got my use out of it. Like I'm not complaining and apparently it still does work. So <laughs> I'll have a great time looking through that later. But yeah, I, I loved this iPad so much. So then that's when I got my first ever iPhone. And it was the, I think I got a first, so I got that iPad in year seven and I think I got my first ever iPhone also in year seven because that's when other people use it but I think it was right at the end, yeah right at the end of the school year because that's when I started going out with my friends so I kind of needed a phone and all I wanted was an iPhone like I would beg my parents, I absolutely beg look at the state of it now um, i really did look after it however this was my granddad's then my sister's and then mine so that's the iphone i had first and i didn't have it for long because the state of it i think i got it and it was already cracked and then it just got worse i even had to put sour tape on it i needed a new phone so bad but i just loved having a phone mine then and i just thought well it's worth it so year eight I saved up all my birthday money, birthday money and Christmas money, saved it, like didn't spend any of it, didn't get any presents because I was that desperate for a phone and phones are so expensive, especially nowadays. I I wanted, I needed, I mean, look at it, I clearly needed a new phone. Um, so I decided to treat myself, which oh, honestly, the best thing I've ever bought. I treated myself to the iPhone 6. How beautiful, like, come on. Going from that phone to this phone, glorious, absolutely glorious. And I paid for every single bit of this phone. I think it was about 500 pound. And I was like, and I was in year eight. I saved my money up so, so much. And like doing chores in the house and whatnot. We didn't really get pocket money. We had to do chores in our house to get money. Like, I don't know, I could clean the whole house and get five pound or, 
whatever I mean I mean that that is literally like exploitation right there that is genuinely child exploitation five pound for several hours of work a bit dodgy but that was what my parents said so I just did it because I needed the money because I wanted a new phone and I didn't regret any of it literally I loved this phone so much this from year eight to year 12 that is all I want that is all I want 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 4 years the next thing I then bought was my phone so I will swap devices that I'm filming on and I will show you my phone so this is the phone I have now which is literally my pride and joy again I bought this phone myself this phone was so expensive the camera quality on this phone is absolutely insane it films in 4k for a start and as you know i have a youtube channel hence right now and i needed a camera to film on because originally oh sorry now i've got my flash on so this was originally the, the phone i was filming on because i was just filming on my phone if you look at the camera quality well the camera sizes and the number of cameras you'll see there's a clear difference with this phone. Who would have thought it? So that is the reason why I decided to buy this phone. I really do use this phone a lot. This is definitely my most used product, I would say. And I love it so much. I wouldn't go back. I've had it for nearly a year now. And this is clearly an amazing phone. It's so expensive. However, it is genuinely an amazing phone. I have it in 64 gig flights, which isn't enough for me, but that actually, made me buy another product so on with that before i get on to my next two products i bought some airpods in fact actually i had these airpods before i bought this phone this is when i had the iphone 6 i bought some airpods moving on to the next product so i bought that iphone in november and then we went into lockdown because of course covid happened i uh, of course was isolating because we were full on lockdown in the UK um, and I couldn't be at school so all my lessons were online now the laptop I was using was my family laptop from when we had it in maybe 2014 so that's that's a six year old laptop that is not going to be the quickest of laptops and I needed this laptop so bad because I was spending months at home doing school work that's when I bought my MacBook Air. I got it in the gold edition and it's the complete base model. I didn't upgrade it in the slightest and I definitely didn't need to. Like, I don't think I use it enough to upgrade it anymore. I love this thing so much. I'm surprised I waited so long to get a laptop because of even like my YouTube channel, I would have thought that I'd get a laptop just for that reason anyway, but I hadn't. So I bought this in May. I love this thing. I get so much use out of it. I mainly use it for school. Um, in fact, I only really do use it for school and maybe answering emails. I've got some emails up there. But yeah, this, I do not know where I'd be in my um, education if I did not have this laptop. Like this really does save my life and it does make my life so much easier. And also it keeps me motivated because I enjoy using my laptop. So after buying this product, I then got an iPad Pro, which yes, again, a very expensive product. However, I actually bought this iPad for one reason, and now I no longer use it for that reason. I have a way better reason. I have an iPad Pro. I got the 11 inch iPad Pro 2020 edition and I decided to upgrade storage to 258 gigabytes rather than 126. I don't know. There's four upgrade, well, there's three upgrades, the base model and then three extra upgrades. I decided to upgrade it once and that's all I needed to do. I'm glad I did do that. I'm nowhere near uh, using up all that storage. However, if I have this iPad for years, which I'm sure I will, I will probably end up needing the storage so i'm glad i've got it so yeah i actually bought this ipad for youtube if you do want an in-depth video let me know but yeah so they were all my products and this is not me flexing at all i just thought you guys would be interested and if you're not then just click off but then again if you got to this part of the video then it's a bit late now but you clearly enjoyed the video so 
you're welcome so make sure you guys come back for another video next week i upload every sunday my tiktok will be down below i've already mentioned that so yeah that will be linked down below along with my instagram if you want to stalk me but yeah let's go i'll see you guys next week with another video bye